Hi, hey YouTube, this is Nugget Soups here. Uh, today I'm bringing you guys kind of uh, a different type of video. I don't think I've done one of these before. But it's going to be kind of like a help me out type video. But it's not really like help me out like like financially. But it's more like with my deck that I'm going to be playing at Regional um, this Saturday. So I'm going to be playing X Sabres. But I kind of come to a point where I can't think of anything else to add to this deck. Um, I mean... I've, I've obviously already looked at the deck list from Toronto, um, the different x Saber decks that topped there. And, um, you know, I've, I've, I mean, I've seen their card choices, and I understand why some people ran certain things. But, um, I don't know, I've just kind of come to a point where I can't figure out what I want to run, and the people, you know, I mean, I have people to talk to here at Locals and stuff, but none of them can really think of anything either. So this is kind of just, like, kind of helped me with my uh, deck list type thing. Um... Because, I don't know, I feel like even if you haven't ever played X-Sabers before, maybe even if you're not the best player, I feel like people can still give good, like, suggestions for a deck, you know? You don't have to be, you know, like a pro to give me a good card choice. So, yeah, that's what I have to say about that. So, I'm going to go through the deck list right now, and I'm going to talk about some uh, things in the deck as I go, obviously. So, we're going to start off with the monsters, of course. So, right now, I'm running through Fall Troll. Um, I'm really considering taking one out. Um, number one, this card makes you overextend. Um, and the only time it's really not overextension is when you have like a Dark Soul or something, but you don't always have the Dark Soul to make sure that you're not overextending. Um, with people running Debris Dragon and stuff, like, I mean, if you summon this and you can't, like, Gotham's them or something, then, I mean, it's kind of like overextending. Also, without Cat, this card is a little bit slower. Um, I mean, it's still obviously broken, like, there's no doubt about it that it's broken, but it's still a little bit slow, so, um, I mean, I might take one out, like, I lost a couple of my games yesterday because I opened, like, double this and nothing else, so, I mean, maybe that was just bad luck, but, I don't know, so right now I'm running three, um, but I might take one out, um, I'm running three of this guy, too, um, I, I'm, my build's closer to, uh, Roy St. Clair's build, um, more than, um, Lazar Bolito's build, because, like, I'm running three because I'm running a double postule, um, and I felt like I would be able to get that combo off a lot. This postule go to Hunley, but I don't know. It hasn't really been happening that much for me. Just this card limits you to go to X Sabers. Um, it's not really that great. Like, I think if I definitely took one, like if I took one of these out, I'd definitely take one of these out because you simply just don't need it if you're not running three. So that's another card I'm questionable on. I'm um, running one air bomb. I think one is really not, like the way to go. This card, like this, is the one I think quantity in this deck that I'm pretty satisfied on. It's just one of that. Um, then I'm running three embers blade right now. Um, I'm not sure about this card either. Like I think that now that cat's gone, your only power card in this deck is like this, and this card makes this card really live, especially when you're running three and three of this, because you can summon ram, get that ram, get whatever. Gotham's are both back, and then you can get, like, a nice synchro and get a Dark Soul search. So, I mean, it, it this card doesn't have its, has its plus and minuses. Like, I think it's pretty good against GBs, actually, um, because the ability of you to get, like, a 19 beater um, if they attack to it and they don't have Chariot or Solemn Warning or something. So, right now I'm running three. But like I said, I'm really open to s suggestions on this deck, which is why I'm making this video. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm running three full home nights right now. I think that's a number to go on this card also. Uh, it's too good, um, honestly. Then I'm running three Dark Soul. That's going to be stay at three for sure. Um, I, and I think I'm going to stay at two Postal as well. Um, I think this is good because at turn one you can set it. And then pretty much no deck outside of GBs can kill it turn one. So in your turn you can go like summon, you know, special, go to whatever. Um, but I actually really like going to fives with this deck because... Titanial is really like a problem card for this deck, so the ability to just go to Catastrophe whenever you need to is nice. Also, this card is freaking ridiculous. Like, this is probably one of the best synchros in this deck if you can drop it. Because the fact that it negates all the power cards like Cold Wave, Dark Hole, Monster Mourn, all that shit. So, um, I'm like a 2. And then the last card I'm running is Lone Sangin. Um, I'm not sure if I really need this, but I'm running it anyway. Um, I mean, it's, now that the cat's gone, this can't get you anything that this... Or, like, Amber's Blade couldn't get you. So, I don't really know if I like Sangin. Um, if I dropped it, I would definitely probably drop it for a Pot of Duality. But, obviously, I don't have a Pot of Duality. Or else I wouldn't be sitting here with a Pot of Benevolence. Um, like, 
I mean, I might be able to get one like the day of the tourney, like if someone wants to sell like a pot or something like I put it in my deck. But I mean, right now I can't get it, obviously. So I'm running staring for the time being. Um, card that I'm also considering to run is let me find it real quick. Is maybe one effect veiler. Um, right now it's in my side, but I feel like um, this card is really defensive um, against like cold wave plays. Um, stuff like that because it kind of protects you like actually lost against quick draw too well last night um, I thought quick draw was my best matchup, but I got utterly smashed um, and I think it was probably just because I was playing triple fall troll and they were either dead They were either dead or I was forced to summon them and on his turn He just went debris dragon um, And this really helps against debris dragon and pretty much ensures that you can't die under cold wave So I mean, I'm I think I might take out that for that But I feel like this was also a good because if they kill it and you can get this and then wait for them to do their shit and play it so, yeah, like I said, there's a lot of possibilities for this deck. Um, next thing, we're in three book. I think half run three, full home night's way too good. Um, a card I want to put in here is Econ, but I don't know what I would take out for that. Um, so that's kind of another thing. Uh, mind control, really good. Cold wave, one MST. Um, I might bump this up to two and take out a trap stun. Trap stun is really, really slow. And I feel like this is better, honestly, because if they like trap stun you and then do all this shit, like, at least you can chain this, where, like, if you just have your traps on just kicking it, then it doesn't do anything. This card's just a lot faster. Um, Trunade, and then Dark Hole, and Monster Born. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the only cards I think I add into the spells would be Econ, Pot of Duality, and a Gold, and maybe a Gold Sark. Um, but I don't know about Gold Sark, either. So, next, I'm running three Gotham's. I'm going to keep running three until someone can convince me to not run three Ember's Blades. So, right now, I'm running three. Because it's so broken. Like, this card's so good. Um, we're getting two bottomless, obvious. We're getting two traps in. I haven't really liked this card at all. I've never liked this card ever, to be honest. Um, like I said, I might take one off for an MST. I think MST is really, really good. People around here don't like it. But I think it's really good. Um, we're getting two saw morning. Really liking two so far. I mean, the life point payment is pretty steep. But it's just too good. Um... Be able to just sit there with a big monster and keep playing these so they can't ever get field presence is just too good. Then I'm running one solemn, obvious. Running an oppression because it's the best card this format. And then I run trapstone. I mean, that's that's kind of a benefit of running this. Like, I don't know, but I, I also think I, I, don't, I, I don't think I should be running a card just because of one card, you know? Um, and then I run torrential and mirror force. So, traps. I mean, there's nothing really I want to change about the traps, maybe, except for taking out a trapstone. Um, but that's pretty much about it. Um, oh yeah, one card that I didn't mention about the monsters is uh, Debris Dragon. I don't really like that card that much because I feel like this card's better. Because Debris is like a way to go Black O's after they do all their shit. Whereas, whereas you can just stop them like right here with an effect failure. Um, so, the extra deck, I mean, there's something I really want to change about this. So I'm going to go through that real quickly. Um, as I go to the side deck. Uh, sorry guys. Showing you that real quick. Um, so side deck right now. Two Noblemen. I think Noblemen's solid card. Um, definitely going to side it. So, I mean, I think two is a pretty good quantity. I'm siding the second space. I think if I main a second space, I'll side something else. Maybe I'll side the Traps 10. I don't know yet. I'm siding Triple Cyber Dragon because I think you have to. It's too good versus GBs and, like, anti-meta shit. So I'm going to side it for right now. Then I'm siding two Noblemen of Extermination because I'm really worried about GBs, to be honest. Uh, I feel like the match is kind of a coin flip, um, and I think I just, I just think I'm going to see a lot at the regional, so I want to side it. So I think one Light and Prisoner Mirror for Light Sworn and Herald, because when they play their Dawn, you can chain this, and then their Herald's kind of fucked. Um, also stops their Searchers, which is nice. Running one Swallow Flip, might bump this up to two by taking out the Chivalry. I don't, I don't know yet. Uh, this card seems pretty good against, like, Ember's Blade and Super Nimble Mega Hamster and shit. Uh, but this card obviously stops guys Aris, so that's nice. Then I'm running a Smashing Ground for the anti-meta GB matchup, and also a Mirror Batch, kind of, because Mirror Batch is really gay when they just, like, sit behind an Ember's Blade for a thousand turns, so. Then I'm signing one Gores. This is a monster I forgot to mention that I might want to main as well. Um, Gores is really, really good, but I feel like with a bunch of trap stuns going around, it might not be worth it to main it, because um, they're just going to sit there. Um, but Gores is definitely really, really broken. Oh, yeah, also, I'm signing two Veilers, but I pulled those out to, for the main deck. Yeah, so I'm, I'm signing two Veilers, which is pretty much everything. So, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Like I said, please leave me a comment below or send me a PM if you have any thoughts on my deck. 
Um, I'll definitely take those into consideration. And uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. So wish me luck at regionals. Thanks.